वेलकम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू अनदर डे आई एम सोमरंजन नायक आज टू ऑफिसर इन मैकेनिकल डिपार्टमेंट एट वीआईटी आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग माय द ब्रेकिंग सिस्टम ऑटोमोबाइल प्रीवियस क्लासेस आई ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड द हाइड्रोलिक ब्रेक टुडे आई गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द एयर ब्रेक इन हाइड्रोलिक ब्रेक वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट दैट द ब्रेक इज ऑंडरगोस द फंक्शंस बाय मींस ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक फ्लूइड मेनली द डॉट फ्लूइड बाय डिपार्टमेंट ट्रांसपोर्टेशन मैंने डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन डॉट वन टू थ्री फोर लाइक दैट फ्लूड इज यूज इन द हाइड्रोलिक सिस्टम वेर एज इन द एयर ब्रेक सिस्टम वी जेनरली यूज द फ्लूड एज द एयर इन द ब्रेकिंग सिस्टम द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ द ब्रेक टू रिड्यूज द स्पीड एंड टू रेस्ट द वहीकल दैट फंक्शन इज कैरियड बाय मीन्स ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मेथोलॉजी एंड डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मीडियम so in this type of air brake the name suggested in air brake means the brake which is work on the principle of the air air brake system is a mechanism that utilizes compressed air to the facilitate efficient deceleration and stopping of a vehicle by applying pressure to the brake component that means what uh, by means of uh, applying application of the brake with the help of the compressed air which is get drawn from the atmospheric air we are going to apply the pressure on the brake pad through the brake shoe and the the disacceleration takes place of the vehicle and come to the rest this system st uh, stand as a pinnacle of safety of efficiency of various vehicles ranging from the automobiles to heavy duty vehicles and also train generally in the train and heavy vehicles the air brake are cooperated in it in air brake systems also are known, known as the compressed air brake system because it is not a simple air that we are talking about this air is a compressed air in a compressed cylinder or in a compressed cylinder component the air is get compressed fast they drawn from the out outer atmosphere then that compressed air is moved through the different type of pipe channels and that that is help to the means of the disacceleration of vehicle during the time of the braking pedal of the brake so and the brake is used as a compressed air so that is the only method in which it is known as compressed air brake system the function of the friction brake is vehicle employing compressed air on the piston of the exert the pressure necessary in the pads of vehicle succession this brake is find in the different type of prominent is the weight vehicles especially those who are in buses uh, tra trailers and also semi trailers and heavy trucks uh, heavy duty vehicles and also mainly in the railway trucks of on for the railway or engine on generally the train or the rails they although they the braking system of today also they are using the air brake system so mainly uh, it is that how it is going to get function the simple function is that the air is drawn from the atmosphere by means of air drawn by atmosphere with help of different type of cylinder compressed then it going to a compressed cylinder uh, component in a compressed cylinder component the air get compressed into it after the compressed air is get stored in a compressed air by means of high pressure the that air is get released during the time of the engage of the brake which is through by means of different type of engage and pipe it moves to other four brake shoe and through brake shoe there is a brake pads and which connected by means of cam and certain adjusted mechanism at that time it works to get disaccelerate the vehicle and accelerate the vehicle during the time of the brake engagement and disengagement this is a simple methodology of the air brake system which is get explained in a proper way by means of symmetric diagram first of all what happened here this is air compressor air compressor means what the help of this air compressor by means of air compressor the outermost air get drawn into the cylinder and store in the storage tank the pink color is a storage tank that means what happened the outer outermost air they fast come and suck by means of this air compressor cylinder cylinder through the air filter and dryer all the type of dirt all the type of impurities they get stored over here they get removed by means of afterwards then the air is get moved to this storage tank in storage tank with a very high pressure the air is get stored into it if there is another safety valve in which if there is any type of leakage or if there is a high amount of air get placed in the storage tank the safety valve used to get remove the uh, air from the storage tank without creating any type of disturbances throughout the whole system if the safety valve will not present over here so, uh, then in an accidental case what happen the total system will get erupted out so for that purpose the safety valve incorporated in the storage tank next from the storage tank the connection between is there means of triple valve this triple valve the work of the triple valve is it's connected with the three type of linkage one linkage from the storage tank to the triple valve another linkage to in the simultaneously 
both the will actually it is not both the will in the symmetry diagram it is uh, just given as both will actually it is four will these two these two linkage another two linkage also attached to it whereas four will are there in a four wheel at a time the four brakes are applied at the same time so the four linkage over here in triple valve what happen uh, fast valve is going to get towards the from the storage tank to the triple valve another two it another two linkage also there for the another two wheel so in triple valve working is it it just control the passage of air during, during the time of brake engage and brake disengage to flow the uh, compressed air from this linkage into the different type of shoe pad of the brake or by means of uh, during the time of disengage return back the air into the storage tank this is a simple mechanism of the triple valve next is this one is braking lining okay this brake lining means the brake pipes through which it is going through and the brake pedal it is the outermost manual methodology which is present in the outermost of the vehicle the driver will going to get push over it to engage and disengage of the brake then there is brake drum pistons uh, rectator springs all sort of things i already discussed in the previous classes other than hydraulic brake the same thing also there in the brake so completely system is me ye define hua hai ki bahar ki jo air hai wo aayega aane ke baad air compressor ke through me wo air compress ho ke filter aur air filter aur dryer ke madhyam se wo storage tank ko jayega jitna sara impurities hai wo yahan pe store ho jayega aur nikal jayega bahar after that टोरेज टैंक से जो कंप्रेस्ड एयर है वो ब्रेक लाइनिंग के जो पाइप से ट्रिपुल ट्रिपुल भाल के हेल्प से डॉट कलेक्टर का काम यहाँ पे है कि अगर कोई डॉट स्टोरेज टैंक में रह गया है तो डॉट कलेक्टर उसको फिल्टर कर देता है बिफोर गोइंग इनटू द ब्रेक लाइनिंग तो इन द ब्रेक पेडल द ड्राइवर एनगेज एंड डिसंगेज ऑफ द ब्रेक उसके बाद क्या होगा तो एयर पास होगा इस पिस्टन के पास जाके ब्रेक को एनगेज करेगा और ब्रेक को डिसंगेज करेगा दिस इज ऑल द systematic diagram and symmetric diagram and the basic function of the air brake for the details explanations we are going to for the short videos in this short videos there is a the arrangement which is not there in symmetric diagram in the arrangement there is the air chamber air chamber means that is known as the air compression uh, and that compressor fluid air is present in the storage tank by through which there is air chamber in which the stored pressure air present in this air chamber next there is a push rod when it go forward brake is engage a uh, vehicle go for rest when go for backward brake is disengage vehicle will accelerated slack adjuster automatic system and there is a linkage completely which is connected by means of a cam it is a s type cam the pink color type or the blue uh, color type is the s type cam the x type cam function of this s type cam is there in the linkage of air and the adjuster s type cam used in the brake shoe it is just connected with the brake shoe okay in a further this s cam is connected with the brake shoe to engage and disengage the linkage for that arrangement we are apply the s cam over here the brake shoe connected by means of this s cam the brake shoe assembly when it move forward the arrow mark brake is now engage okay when it is relaxed go downward then brake is disengage now the brake apply now now the brake is not apply this is a simple technique which is used by means of s cam over here the red color uh, of the brown color the red color type the uppermost part is brake pad the yellow color is a brake shoe or uh, the middle portion rectator spring and the brake arrangement which already discussed in the previous classes now what happen it is complete arrangement this brake shoe is connected by means of a tire okay the brake drum and tire and the brakes one the brake pad brake on means when push forwarded at that time brake on means brake engage the tire remain rest when is move backward at that time brake is off tire is moving so this is a simple methodology when the brake uh, brake is engage or brake is not engage now brake is not engage when is move forward the brake is engage the brake is on this is completely uh, animated video of the engagement and disengagement of the air brake now there is certain demerit uh, not demerit in every brake it is there it is just uh, say, given in this uh, short videos animated videos that insufficient contact if there is any type of insufficient contact between the drum and the brake shoe 
by functioning the all the adjustment even if the brake is on the tire is moving because of defective slack adjuster or defective slack adjuster the gap between this arrow mark is gap between this brake shoe and the brake drum that why it is not connected the brake is not engaged successfully the bike is not stopped successfully for that purposes we have to change the deflect slack adjuster to overcome this problem otherwise the brake fails will be takes place in the further this is the complete uh, discussion about the how the air brake is working about it and what are the not demerit certain disarrangement or in the further by using of the brake for the longer period of time what will happen and how to overcome it by changing of the slack adjuster now the advantages of air brake and the disadvantage of air brake in the advantages of air brake that we have it operated fully on air so it is readily available in the working environment it is not depending upon the any fluid type of the liquid like dot in the previous class of hydraulic brake it is completely working on the general air which is readily and available free in the air which is the best benefit for this application yield point braking power suitable for heavy vehicles and trucks it is generally used in the heavy vehicles and trucks next is offer superior control over the braking action it also work in a very superior way in the braking system and also it distance it reduces the distance between the for the complete stop means complete stop means it engage or disengage timing is very less for which the braking effort is very high minimize the wear and tear because as it is going out it is used in the air as a medium for the braking system and the wear tear also very less over here demonstrate enhance the effectiveness in the coming back of the alternative braking method that means what it is a better braking option with comparable in the hydraulic braking system if you compare with the hydraulic braking system air brake is much more better than the hydraulic braking system but what are the disadvantage the complex arrangement in here the mechanism on the complex arrangement because it is their s cam adjuster so air chamber air, and compressed air storage tank so this is a complex arrangement this is one disadvantage it is not a simple arrangement then air brake had been slightly compared to hydraulic system means the complete braking system slower if you compare the time uh, duration of the time taken between hydraulic and the air air brake system just taken just more time than the hydraulic system means immediate brake you can able to get in hydraulic you compare to is compared with the air but it is not so much disadvantage it can be overcome it very easily regular check about the air brake another disadvantage is any type of brakes which is run by means of a fluid maybe any type of liquid fluid or means of air we have to check the leakage of the complete system if there is any leakage the braking system get failure this is one of the biggest disadvantage of the any type of fluid brake system previous class hydraulic brake today is air brake both are fluid brake system the same disadvantage in other fluid brake system are there we have to check the regularly about the leakage of the air this is all about today's classes of air brake system advantages disadvantages and different working system how it is work and, and where it is going to get applied today in this generation mainly in the heavy trucks heavy vehicles in the trailers and mainly in the indian railways in the next class further we will going to discuss about the servo or power brake which is another type of brake system which is different than the previous uh, brake system and it is the latest brake system than the hydraulic and the air brake system so in the next classes stay tuned for my next classes i am going to discuss about in next classes for both the power brake thank you very much